What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back, and in this one, we're looking at the one and only character attribute system on the marketplace. This retailed for a whopping, a whopping. I'll get there. Uh, yep. Where is she at, fellas? There she is, twenty four ninety nine. Um, so let's just jump right into this thing. Fucking not right click. This also adds in another folder that you have to migrate over, but this one really isn't that bad. So, plus for that one. Uh, there is a few things you got to add in. I'll show you that real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and go to my third person character. You have to add in this right here, which is event give, begin play, we're grabbing the widget, we're adding the viewport, we're setting the character system. And then I put in a toggle and an experience adder just for demonstrations. So when I press tab it'll, tab, it'll toggle the HUD. When I press 1, it'll give me experience. You want to put the experience whenever you kill somebody or do something. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but you can add it whatever. Here's the construction script right here. We're just adding the child actor. Uh, we're casting to the character uh, system, get the child actor, and setting the character system. So, we'll jump right into it and we'll hit play. In the bottom right hand corner here we have the health bar. And then on the top, the one that's, that's going up, it regens. The bar, at the bottom of that bar is the experience bar. You can see I pressed one, it gave me some experience. Now that bar is a little bit yellow. When I do level up, it says up there, you have leveled. Ye -he -he -he. You can change that, you don't even have to have anything when they level. But when I press tab, I get this awesome little menu here. Player name, which is where you would put in your the guy, your name. I ever want to do that. Currently, it says I'm level three, so if we hit one a couple times. It experience the level jumps from 150 to 100 to 50 to level. We're now level four. We've got 15 free points. Now, what we can do with those free points is we can actually add in. We can add in more health, which counts by 10. So now we have 100. Let's put it at 200 health. Up to 10, I guess. And health regen, we'll just spend the rest of the points there. So now we have five regen more point. We're getting five more points of regen of our max health of 210. And the bar will actually go up with that too, which is pretty cool. But that is what this is all about. But you can add so many, so much more stuff to this. You know, in your HUD, you can put in, you know, hunger and stuff like that. And maybe on the experience. When you level up, you can add the attributes to your hunger lasts longer, your stamina lasts longer. There's endless amount of stuff you can do with it. Um, it's pretty cool that it actually added all this stuff into a, uh, see if I can find it, uh, right here, an enum. So everything you just add in right here. It's pretty cool. You got your stats. This right here is where you would add um, for like the health regen and stuff like that. This right here, tutorial images. This is how you set it up, but I can actually give you a video if you guys need a video. It's very simple, very basic. Uh, here's the widget itself. You, know, you can move this stuff around. Uh, you can grab you know, the border here. And you can put it over here. You can put this wherever you want it. Um, but that's pretty cool to save that. Uh, and that is all this tutorial comes with. Or all this comes with. I was reading the tutorial right here. All this character just comes with. I got character system actor, which is this jazz. You don't have to worry about this stuff. This is already set up for you. No need to mess with it unless you absolutely want to. Here's the functions. Just adding the character system to the viewport. But yeah. $24. You can't beat it. Attribute system. Save you a little time of making one yourself. Uh, but anyway, guys, that wraps up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.